Okay guys, these are a uh, few tools that are absolutely uh, a necessity uh, when doing offshore fishing, both to uh, to do the job properly um, and also for safety purposes. We'll start with the safety. Uh, I have this uh, release knife. Um, for one, it's good when you pull a uh, sailfish up and uh, you don't want to bother them too much trying to get that hook back. Just reach down there and snap the line right off, slide the line right in the slot there, and uh, snips it right off. And uh, not to mention, if you have this on your belt and you were to get line on your hand and on a big fish like a, a blue marlin or a blue fin tuna, and you were unable to get it free, this is a great way to turn him loose because obviously it's a battle that you probably won't win if you are using really big leaders uh, you know it's a lot of leaders I can break but there's a, some leaders I just can't and it's all about leverage and footing and he can just catch you wrong and this could save your life uh, and it's not like a knife that you're fumbling and it's got a nice slot there that slides right over. I actually have another one that's my primary use that's why this one's still in the package um, and it's somewhere around here I think in my tackle bag uh, so I just brought this one out to show you what one looked like. So you got to get you a release knife, um, a good set of crimping tools. Uh, these are a little rusty, but for three-year-old crimping tools for a full-time mate, uh, I'd say they're in great condition. Uh, just grease them every once in a while. Just try to keep the salt off of them. It's real important that you don't have rust um, in here on the crimpers because if you have rust growing inside these slots your uh, your size is off so you may be crimping the crimp too much because you've got so much rust in those holes so it's really important to keep those free of rust um, these are the braid crimps got the little lock there to lock them close uh, the only problem and they have a spring so they open and shut you know they open on their own um, big problem that I have with them is the cutters. They're not really the best cutters on these crimps. I like to have a cutter on the side of the crimp, crimping tool, or uh, a good sharp one on the tip at least. So it's not the best tip that's come on these cutters. So that's why I also pack uh, these cutters uh, primarily just for the cutting purposes. Uh, these have these pliers and are good for other things. Uh, you can even use them for helping you to twist your wire um, if you're using wire for wahoo fishing. Um, so it's good for helping you to hold your wire so you can make your twist. And, but primarily I have these just for cutting so these kind of go together. And then I wear this on my side. I have that at all times. I actually have a smaller one that I wear around my neck too so I have two of these on me uh, so then I've taken another one of these that I have and I painted it black and I put it in my uh, survival kit um, or for my first aid you know for survival purposes should you need to cut a rope or cut somebody's shirt off or pants or whatever they're pretty durable I mean you got replacement razor blades that are razor sharp so don't have to worry about keeping an edge just pop new blades on there when those blades wear out so definitely a must have for uh, offshore fishermen though need to have these three tools if you want to uh, be a contender in the uh, offshore world so uh, it's Captain Tactical coming to you with uh, a few uh, tackle items tools that you need to have so thanks a lot